we saw in the gospel of matthew chapter 14 was 22 onwards we read like these the word of god spoke to us when jesus after immediately after multiplication of the five loaves of bread for 5000 people jesus forced the people to go back home he forced the disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side of the lake and he dismissed the crowd because it was time for him to pray when the time came for him to pray he did not allow anyone or anything to be a block for his prayer life he made sure that every block is removed and he removed all the people even including his disciples from his from his sight because he wanted to spend time in his presence in the presence of his father and then he went up to the mountain to pray the whole night he was desired to pray but the moment jesus started praying the disciples in the boat in the middle of the sea they were attacked by the waves and wind storm lightning thunder it is it was the work of the devil any time when you are ready to pray any time when you take a strong decision to pray any time you surrender yourself to pray the devil will come and try to stop your prayer distract your prayer take away your prayer because he knows if you are prayerful you will be powerful and therefore devil wanted to disturb the prayer of jesus and therefore the devil knows there is no pointing in disturbing jesus directly therefore he went and disturbed the disciples because he knows that jesus will come and help them immediately but jesus did not go immediately jesus decided to spend the whole night in prayer he did not get up the whole night he prayed and early morning he came walking on the water towards the disciples early morning that means the whole night jesus continued praying and the whole night disciples were fighting against the battle against the wind storm the whole night he continued praying the whole night disciples were fighting against the wind storm and the conclusion is this nothing happened to the disciples not even one hair of their bodies lost because when you are in prayer everyone around you will be protected when you are in prayer you and your whole family will be protected when you are in prayer everything that belongs to you will be protected because we you are prayerful therefore everything is powerful in your life lord's power will be there that is jesus knew this therefore jesus did not stop the prayer that he started he completed only then he came forward to help the disciples and when he came to help them he was he walked on the water when he came walking on the water the disciples thought he is a ghost he is a ghost this is what happens when there is crisis struggles and problems even if god comes to us we are not ready to believe the presence of god but rather we believe in the presence of black magic and evil power evil power i have seen so many people believing that someone has done some black magic against them because they are going through a crisis that is a lie that is a lie from the devil because he wants importance in your life don't give unimportant un- unnecessary importance in his in your life he is not a ghost when you are in crisis when you are in pain when you are in sorrow it is not the ghost or evil or black magic comes to your family but god comes to you he will be with you he will help you he walks on the water and comes towards you therefore do not get disappointed believe he said take heart it is i do not be afraid don't doubt me it is i i am the lord who comes to you this is what the lord is telling you therefore even if you are going through struggles and suffering and tragedies and pain in your life don't get disappointed don't doubt anyone just trust in the lord because he is there for you praise the lord praise the lord